Hello, everybody. This is Marilyn Wilson, the president of RE Technology, and I'm really excited to be here today with you and, and with some uh, noteworthy colleagues to talk about the Broker Public Portal with HomeSnap, taking charge of your listings. Um, so I am going to um, – actually, Gail Weisswasser, if we, we can go to the next slide, Gail, we can uh, show everybody who's going to be with us today, and then we'll go from there. So we have two people with us today. First, we have David Howell, who's a principal broker for McInerney Associates on the East Coast. Um, you'll really enjoy him. He's done some really exciting things with, uh, with HomeSnap and made it really work well for his brokerage and for his agents, which is always great. And of course, mostly for their clients, which is what we're all here to do, right? And then next, we have Gail Weisswasser. She's the Senior Vice President of Communications and Business Development for HomeSnap, and she's going to show us uh, some really cool features about this product today that you guys can see there's a lot of different ways to uh, to engage with your clients and to really promote your listings and others very effectively. So let's go to the next slide. I just want to give you a little bit of uh, logistics um, for us. So if you look on the right hand side of your go to webinar toolbar, uh, you'll see a little there's a little a bunch of little blue boxes, and there's a little gray triangle in the one that's called questions. If you click on that. Um, and then you'll be able to ask a question and we, we, we may answer it right during the session or most likely we'll be answering at the end. So hold on if you don't hear it, um, answer it right away. But uh, we really want to hear from you and any, any and all questions you have at brokers or agents or MLSs for that matter if you're on the call as well, um, we'd love to tell you more about it. So let's go to the next slide. So what is the Broker Public Portal, or the BPP, as some of you may have heard of it described? Um, it's really a, an exciting program that's been around now for several years. It was conceived, created, and formed within the industry. Um, and it was it basically, it started with just a few brokers and a few MLSs that got in a room and said, you know what? We all contribute amazing, curate and contribute great content. And there's got to be a way for us to all work together in MLS regions across the country to be able to, you know, really promote those listings on a national basis. And wouldn't it be great if we had a national search portal that follows the fair display guidelines? So those of, the, of you that don't know what the fair display guidelines are, basically what that is, um, what that guarantees is that you'll never have, you know, four different um, agents all on one listing competing for the energy. If it's your listing, your name gets attached to it, and uh, those listings and those leads go directly to the brokerage or directly into um, into your inbox, whichever makes sense for your business. Um, HomeSnap is the partner of tech of and the technology partner in the public facing brand. So it's a little confusing. The broker public portal is sort of what we call this initiative inside the industry. But when your clients uh, and you know your customers ultimately see this product, they see it as HomeSnap, which is a very well healed consumer brand. We'll talk about that in a second. So it's um, so the BPP words are a little more industry centric, but the HomeSnap is what is really what is the public facing version of this. Um, what's really neat about Broker and the HomeSnap portion of it is that it's really an industry friendly alternative to large listing portals. We talk to agents and brokers all the time that, um, you know, that many of which, you know, leverage some of those big portals and find that um, it gets more and more expensive to work with them all, of, all the time. And frankly, a lot of the leads that they're getting are less and less productive. Um, and so, again, the group of people that started this said, why don't we all get together and let's send each other free listing exposure and free leads that we get, you know, with partnerships through MLS organizations across the country. Um, and what's really neat, too, is the BPP Board of Managers is really owned and operated by the industry. So there's a collection of, of brokers and a collection of MLS executives that work together in a, a very productive way to ensure that the program is always um, going to stay industry-centric, industry-friendly, and not going to ever be a place where you're going to have to spend time and money on um, things that you don't feel are valuable to your business. Okay, next one. So what inspired this idea? Um, there, there was a, a very passionate, small but very passionate group of people that got together. And the, the main thing I think that started it um, was that the, the cost of, an, if, of advertising on other listings on large portals is, you know, was and is and continues to get more and more expensive. And again, people said, well, why do we have to pay money to have exposure for our own listings that we've contributed? Isn't there a way for us to take advantage of that on our own? Um, you know, brokers and agents provide listings and the third party sell back leads to them. And brokers and agents just said, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Why don't we just try to do it ourselves? 
because we have the best data as partners with the MLSs. We know that that's the freshest and most comprehensive and most up-to-date data that's available. Um, many people were, were really not excited about the idea that third parties were competing directly for business with, broker, with brokers and basically in some levels weakening the broker value proposition, right? Brokers, brokers want to be the solution where agents feel like they can um, leverage to be able to, to drive business back to their clients. And so, you know, this was another big impetus for this. Agents want to engage with and support clients and prospects throughout the life cycle of real estate and not just when they're buying and selling. So one of the key mantras of this idea was, can we find a tool that allows an agent to connect with their, their clients, their, their prospects, to people they've worked with in the past, to friends and family of people they've worked with in the past, um, and, and really keep agents at the center of the idea. And that was really what, what drove a lot of this. And there was kind of a, a passion, too, about wouldn't it be great to give consumers a site that's built for their needs and not for advertisers' needs? So this is really driven to help it make it easy for people to search for, for properties in, in a simple and non-advertising-driven way. So that's really what it was all about. Uh, next slide, please. So why HomeSnap? Um, I think I'm actually going to turn this over to Gail, and, and she's going to kind of take us through. Um, actually, I'm, I'll do this part. Um, why, why the partnership with HomeSnap? Well, if, for any of you that may have known, this company's been around for a long time, since, basically since 2010. And they cracked the nut, so to speak, on how difficult it is to get strong rankings within, a, um, within the, each of the app stores. It's very, very difficult to work with them. Um, and especially if you're not at the national level, it's almost impossible. And HomeSnap, I, I, I very excitingly, had built their program right out of the gate, long even before they were part of BPP, as an industry-centric, industry-friendly program that it was always designed to keep brokers and agents at the center of the process. So it was always designed to be really realtor and agent-centric, um, very different than many other advertising programs that really are all about trying to gener you know, garner advertising and keep people on another site as long as they possibly can. This one is designed to get people directly talking to agents as quickly as they can. Okay, next slide. And this is the number I think that really gets people going when we talk about this. So this is um, a product called Hitwise, which measures search engine traffic from websites of all different types across the country. And this is just the data from March. When we look at this, just 13% of the traffic of the top sites out there today actually go back to a broker or to an agent. So Redfin does well, Remax does well, Coldwell Banker Homes does well, and HAR, which some of you may know is the Houston Association of Realtors website, they're the only websites in the top 10 that are generating traffic that goes directly back without any kind of a intermediary in terms of advertising. And so a lot of you know, brokers looked at this to so these kinds of numbers and said, that's got to change. So that's, we've got to get ourselves back in the center of the, of the action, and we've got to provide not only great data, but great UI and great features that consumers really want and that's truly competitive with the other you know, well-heeled organizations that are out there online. So that's you know, kind of where, where it came from. So next slide. So I'm going to turn it over now to Gail Weiswasser, and she's going to talk us through um, all the different benefits that the, the product has been built to deliver to the industry. So Gail, take it away. Thank you, Marilyn, and thank you everyone for joining us this afternoon. Um, as Marilyn said, um, my name is Gail, and I head up business development and communications here at HomeSnap. I've been here for over five years, so I've seen a lot of the growth that Marilyn has described. So I'm going to talk specifically about the benefits of joining the BPP and why it makes a difference to brokers and to agents and why it's something that you might want to get behind. So um, as Marilyn explained earlier, the BPP is a national consumer search portal that attracts millions of consumers a month. So you get your listings featured on a portal that reaches millions of consumers and that follows your listing, your lead. As Marilyn said, um, following fair display guidelines has been part of HomeSnap's DNA from the beginning. We've always sent listings uh, to the listing agent for free. We have sent over a million free leads to agents, which is very valuable uh, traffic and they get that all at no charge. Um, in addition to getting their leads though, they also get HomeSnap Pro. So HomeSnap Pro is our agent only app 
which is a mobile and desktop platform for agents that they can access all of their necessary features from their phone, from their desktop, wherever they are. And I'm gonna do a demo a little bit later in the webinar and show you some of the highlights of HomeSnap Pro. So you can see why it is such a, a powerful solution for agents. And that is included in the Broker Public Portal. So for MLSs who join the Broker Public Portal, they get uh, HomeSnap Pro for free or as included in part of that, uh, included as one of the benefits of that for all of their members. Um, in addition, uh, brokers get free branding throughout HomeSnap and HomeSnap Pro. This is something that we have historically charged for. That can be up to thousands of dollars a month, depending on the size of a brokerage. That's all free to brokers if their MLS joins the BPP and they get their branding, their logo, uh, their look and feel throughout HomeSnap. So it really becomes a branded experience for consumers uh, for those brokers. Uh, we also offer a dashboard that allows brokers to keep track of agent, client, and consumer use of HomeSnap, and also to look at productivity across agents, offices, and regions. We have a very robust uh, agent marketing program that allows uh, agents and brokers to uh, market their listings, market their brokerage, market themselves across some of the most uh, popular social media networks and platforms. So Facebook, Google, Instagram, and Waze. Um, we offer very uh, affordable and extremely easy solutions for people to use HomeSnap in order to run their ads uh, on those platforms. And finally, it's just a best-in-class product that really allows agents to be their best at, at no matter where they are. So they can you know, access all of their most important features right from their phone. Um, the agent benefits of the Broker Public Portal are very similar. Uh, agents get access to HomeSnap Pro when their MLS joins the BPP. Uh, they get the ability to invite unlimited clients and manage their client communications and searches within HomeSnap. And I'll cover some of that when we do our demo in a little while and show you why uh, it's so easy and effective to communicate with your clients within HomeSnap. Uh, agents get free branding throughout HomeSnap as well. They get the leads from their listings sent straight from their phones and the ability, of course, to run those ads across the social media platforms that I talked about before. In addition to agents and brokers, consumers get great benefit from the Broker Public Portal. And that's, of course, the point of the BPP, which is to provide a consumer facing site that consumers will find easy to use and that will provide amazing information to them. So, uh, as Marilyn said, we are uh, the top rated app in the App Store and Google Play. And that's not just HomeSnap Pro, that's HomeSnap. HomeSnap and HomeSnap Pro are really the same app. So that means that for consumers, when they go to search for home search or real estate in the App Store or Google Play, they get to see HomeSnap right there with um, very high rankings. And also we get featured a lot in Roundup. So oftentimes in the spring, for example, Apple or Google will include a home sweet home or a home search uh, feature within their app stores that are pushing certain uh, apps to their consumers. And HomeSnap is usually the number one app featured in those Roundups, which is you know very different from if it were a regional app, like an MLS app or a broker app, here you've got this national brand and this national app that enjoys lots of exposure from the various app stores. Uh, HomeSnap itself has no ads in it. So if you are a consumer and you want to go look at a home, you're not going to get bombarded by ads and you're not going to see ads for other agents. You're not going to see somebody who has paid a lot of money to advertise next to a listing, but might not really know that much about the house. Instead, you're going to have a clean and clutter-free environment and you're gonna be able to connect directly with that listing agent. If you have a question about the house, it's gonna go right to the listing agent who is the person who knows the most about that house. There's a lot of really fun features in HomeSnap. You can snap a picture of a house to get real-time information about it. That's how we got our name, HomeSnap. So you can go up to any home in the United States and just snap a picture with your phone and you will be able to get all the up-to-date information about that home. When did it last sell? Uh, what's the estimated value? Is it on the market? Is it off the market? And all kinds of other things that I'll show you when we do our demo. Uh, HomeSnap feeds, uh, or we get uh, real-time feeds from MLSs that are updated about every five minutes. 
So you can be assured that the data that you're seeing in, in HomeSnap is up to date. You're not looking at a house that says it's for sale, but that was really under contract two weeks ago. So everything is extremely accurate and up to date. And for consumers, they're working from the same set of data that their agents are. We also offer a lot of collaboration and sharing opportunities within HomeSnap where consumers can share homes with their spouse, with their partners, their friends, their agent. There's lots of opportunities baked in throughout HomeSnap for messaging within the app, for posting homes that they see on social media. It's, it's very collaborative and interactive, just like the other platforms they're used to using in their lives. The other apps they're used to using, HomeSnap offers all that same great functionality for consumers. Uh, I talked about this a little bit already. Here are some screenshots of the uh, real estate roundups that are, we've seen in the App Store where HomeSnap enjoys that left-hand poll position. So I just wanted to include them here. Um, we also enjoy a lot of press. And you know, I work here, my other job be, other than business development is to run communications. And we get a lot of organic press about HomeSnap. People are intrigued by it. They like the Snap a Home feature. Uh, we regularly see that HomeSnap is included in various articles about, you know, the best home search tools out there. Um, so it's it's nice to be affiliated with a brand that's getting a lot of earned uh, attention, um, both within the app stores where people are making a lot of their app decisions, but also um, in the press. So a few stats about the BPP. Um, we are very excited to announce that we have just crossed over the 1 million agent footprint. So that means that there are over a million agents across the country who now have access to HomeSnap through their MLS. Um, this is coming very, very close to a national footprint, which was our goal when we uh, launched with the BPP uh, a few years ago. And it's very exciting to see the, the very rapid growth that we've enjoyed and the fact that we now have this national footprint. We are in 48 out of the 50 states. Um, we are the number one rated uh, app, real estate app for agents in the App Store. And we are now in over 200 MLSs across the country. Uh, one of the really exciting things for us too is that as we've gotten bigger, we have been able to partner with uh, the MLS software providers uh, across the country. So we, uh, have integrated already with Paragon and Dyna Connections, and we are currently working on integrations with the remaining software platforms, Matrix, uh, Flex, and Rapitoni. And what that means when I talk about integrations is that we want to, you know, make it as easy as possible for agents to do their core and essential functions right from their phone. So if we have integrated with the large software uh, providers that are you know, behind the major MLSs across the country, that means agent, that agents are going to be able to do their basic MLS features from their phone. That includes adding and editing listings, adding photos to listing, saving searches. Um, in some cases, it includes sending out uh, save search emails to clients, syncing contacts. We want agents to be able to, to do everything they need to do in one solution. And these integrations will make that truly possible. So we're, we're, those integrations are underway right now. Uh, some of them are already existing and we're very encouraged and hope that they will be um, operational by the end of this year. Okay, so we're gonna turn this over to David Howell now. David is in our home market here in Washington, DC. We've worked with him before. And David's gonna talk about the BPP and HomeSnap and why it has been a, a positive experience for his brokerage to work with us. Great. Thanks, Gail. Hey, David, how you doing today? Great. How are you? Marilyn again. Good. So why don't we start with just tell us a little bit about your brokerage, and then we'll jump into um, how you've been working with BTP with HomeSnap over the last few years. You bet. Thank you, Marilyn. And, and as Gail indicated, we're based in the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. We have uh, about 360 agents and eight offices. Um, and we're um, Washington, D.C. is a unique market in that we are operating in three licensing jurisdictions as well, too. So um, that has created some pinch points and uh, overlap of technology. So um, it's one of the reasons we love HomeSnap. They, they get away, they get away a lot of the pinch points. 
So how did you decide to um, to put, get your brokerage involved? Maybe tell us a little bit about how your brokerage is involved and then, um, and you know, what made, what made you to decide that BPP was going to be a good idea for you? Well, you bet. And I think in part because HomeSnap, uh, as Gail indicated, is based here in the Washington area. Our multiple listing system, which was uh, MRIS at the time, was, I think, among the first MLSs to adopt HomeSnap as their mobile app. Um, and I had the good fortune to be on the board, so uh, I was kind of involved in some of those discussions early on. And um, But taking off my board hat and putting my broker's hat on at the time, um, we had a very sophisticated mobile app through our web developer through for our company. Um, and it was very cool. Um, it, back in the day, this was four plus years ago, it had augmented reality and it was marvelous technology, but there was one minor problem. Nobody used it. Um, and so um, you can have great technology, but if people aren't going to use it, it's not so great. And at the same time that HomeSnap was rolling out, it was already pretty close to ubiquitous in our marketplace from a consumer perspective. And so it became possible for us to have HomeSnap Pro and a broker branded version in our marketplace. We abandoned the mobile app that was built into the pricing from our web developer and adopted HomeSnap as our company's mobile app, even though it was not unique to our company. And the agent adoption was immediate and overwhelming. That's awesome. So when you say that's broker branded, so does that mean that if one of your you know, one of your agent's clients goes on it, that it's actually going to have their branding and your branding, or is it, how does that work? Yes, it does. Obviously, consumers can go to um, the App Store or to Google Play and download the HomeSnap app, but from an agent and broker's perspective, if being on HomeSnap Pro and paying for the branding version, and we're looking forward to uh, having that portion for free in the very near future, um, a unique URL or a link was created for each of our agents to invite their clients to use the HomeSnap app. In the first two weeks that we were live with Broker Pro, our, our agents together, and again, bear in mind, we have about 360 agents. We're a little smaller at the time of launch. Over 41,000 client invitations went out wow. uh, through HomeSnap to download the app. Um, the, the, the success rate for that was a little so south of 50%. Um, but one of my tired cliches is sometimes it's kind of hard to get 50% of people to agree that today's Thursday. Um, so that um, <laughs> when you get that much adoption, our agent adoption was north of 80% within the first month. And client adoption, wow. for those that sent um, invitations out, was very close to 50%. Um, so it, it made us look very good. And frankly, as a practitioner, although I'm a managing broker and I'm not on the street all that much, when I am on the street, and not just in our marketplace, but nationally, HomeSnap is the app that I use when I'm looking for property. Um, because as Gail indicated, it's updated and essentially close to real time, uh, updated five every five minutes. Um, I won't mention those other portals by name, but they can't hold a candle to the speed and accuracy of what HomeSnap does. That's amazing. And, and just to go back to those numbers for a minute, 80% adoption, is incredible, right? With any kind of uh, technology, yeah. I don't even think um, eighty percent use the MLS system, yeah. and then fifty percent. You know, most of us, if you, you know, if we've all tried doing email blasts or those kinds of things. You know, you, everybody feels pretty good if you get a twenty percent open rate. Yeah. And you not only got a fifty per, a more a way more open rate than that, you actually got a fifty percent click through rate when basically an adoption rate. That's really unprecedented for any to any type of marketing initiative to consumers. So. Yeah, I, can, I can see why you guys are excited about it. That's a lot. <laughs> we've been neat. deliriously happy with it. And, and ultimately, although and we look at technology as a tool for what we do, it is not what we do. We have no illusions that we're a technology company. We're a real estate brokerage. And ultimately, mm -hmm. it's about building relationships. And HomeSnap is a fabulous technology tool to help us create and build relationships, not just with our prospects and our clients, but with our fellow realtors um, with whom we compete and cooperate every day. Interesting. Gotcha. So what kinds of feedback do, are you getting from your agents? As obviously there's a lot of them using it. What, what kinds of things are they telling you about the value of this in their day-to-day -day business? It, it's a great question. And I think it's on several levels. Um, and I think probably the most important level from the day-to-day -day actions and tasks that an agent has to deal with um, just being able to be in the field and 
look for properties um, because we've all been in that circumstance where you're driving down a street with a buyer prospect or a buyer client um, and a property shows up that didn't show up in your search for whatever reason. It is virtually instantaneous to get real-time information about that property when you've got the client in the car um, and you can create many CMAs uh, to send to a client um, on individual properties in about two or three minutes. Um, it's not a substitute for a, a real analytical CMA, but you can send them the subject property and actives and recent comps um, with literally a few touches on your phone. So just from the day-to-day -day interaction from agents, um, just the search process is made much easier. Is kind of the next step because in the pro version that the clients don't see, we have all of the information about the listing agent um, for individual property, all the contact information, what the offered compensation is, any rem anything that would be confidential to the public is available at HomeStack Pro for agents to see. And you can start to do a deep dive on the listing agent. There are tools to let you know whether you ever done a deal with that agent odds are you probably remember that or if anyone in your office has ever done a deal with that agent or anyone in your company has ever done a deal you get a sense of is this kind of a one-off thing for the agent is this something they have not done much in this area before or are they more the neighborhood expert as indicated by the fact that they've had lots of listings in this area um, and I Marilyn you kind of wind me up and I just stop me when I uh, when I'm <laughs> no, keep long. going this is great <laughs> among the things we love about home snap as compared to some of the other national portals um, I'll be specific Zillow uh, uh, in, in particular home snap does display estimated values of properties but they do not display those values for properties that are on the market um, so we are not in competition with some disinterested third parties estimated value for what they think a property is worth so it is not only consumer friendly but it is very agent friendly as well too um, going deeper um, there's a safety timer embedded within the app so that um, if there's ever a concern uh, that an agent entering a property can set an, an alert um, that um, if and the alert goes off at whatever time frame they've indicated and if they don't click a button to silence the alert it sends out an alert to the person uh, or persons that the agent has set up to let them know there could be potentially a problem. We don't like to think that way, but the ability to have that tool literally at your fingertips that you can initiate and turn off uh, with a couple of touches of your fingertip is extremely powerful. Um, and last but certainly not least among the things that Gail indicated is it is a an advertising free um, lead generation tool and although candidly from our perspective that's not the most important part it is icing on a really nice cake um, again not to knock the other portals because everybody has their business model the fact that agents if a client interacts with um, if you're using using the branded version and the consumer is using the app um, any listing that they find the lead goes back to the agent if they're using the non-branded version these are leads that are passed to the listing agent. Um, and there's really nobody else that does that, and particularly in an advertising and fee-free environment. Right, yeah, so it's really, it, it really has the, the agent's success and the brokerage's success in mind, right? It's not, it's not about advertising, it's about the person that took the time and effort to curate a new listing. They're the ones that are gonna benefit from this. And, um, can we talk a little bit too about how your buyers agents use it? Do they use it when they're in the field and things? Because that's that's an always an exciting question. It absolutely, too. No, it, they absolutely do, and it is it is their go-to app. Um, and again, our mobile listing system used has been using for four years HomeSnap as their mobile app because frankly we couldn't develop anything that held a candle to what HomeSnap uh, already did. And as Gail said, and it's absolutely true, it is a top-rated consumer app, and it's that way for a reason. It's really quick and easy to use. And, and I will knock the other portals, because um, and, and with a huge kudo to HomeSnap, HomeSnap is integrating information, as Gail said, from over 200 MLSs, and that's not an easy thing to do. We've oh. all dealt with the enormous frustrations of going to an app from Zillow or Trulia or even Realtor.com to find inaccurate information, old property status um, information, which just drives agents and consumers crazy. You don't have that experience with HomeSnap because um, it's updated every five minutes. 
our web developer updates our stuff every 15 minutes, which we think is pretty good, um, but five is a lot better than 15. So mm -hmm. both from our MLS's perspective, as well as from our own company's perspective, we couldn't develop anything that not only wasn't better than HomeSnap, but frankly couldn't hold the candle to what HomeSnap is doing. That's wonderful. And do, do your, um, some of your agents use, uh, you know, leverage this as one of their marketing, part of their marketing plan in their listing presentations? Some do, quite candidly. I'm not sure we do it as effectively as we should. Um, and maybe part of the reason that is, for that is a real compliment to HomeSnap. At least in the Washington metropolitan area, it's a pretty ubiquitous app. Um, so it's almost considered to be a given um, that we're there. Um, so I, I hope that explanation makes sense. I'm not sure that people use it as a differentiator um, because in mm -hmm. our market, it isn't a differentiator because everybody has it and everybody uses it. And that's a good thing. Right. Gotcha. There was a, a question that just came through. Uh, maybe just to clarify, you it mentioned that 50% um, of the people that were invited to the app, uh, or the consumers were that were invited to click through. Can you explain how there's that sort of one touch where an agent can, you know, yeah. push a button on their phone and it yeah. invites everybody because it's agents really easy. Out, and some agents questions out the that. invitation. Yeah, absolutely. And and the consumer receives um, an email uh, with and if they click on the link and download the HomeSnap app, it creates the branded version. So the consumer is now interacting with HomeSnap branded with the agent and company that sent them the invitation. So there's always the ability to get the app from a non-branded version, but it's one of the reasons that I mentioned about creating relationships. Consumers here for a long time have gone uh, to the App Store or to Google Play and downloaded the HomeSnap app, but getting it through an agent, if they accept that invitation, then every experience that they have with HomeSnap going forward is branded with that agent's information. Um, and leads go to the agent, messages, et cetera, go to the agent. And again, that's part of the relationship building. So one, one folks, uh, person on the call said, I don't see how HomeSnap is free to get leads. Um, maybe, I think you just said it, but maybe you could just underline that again, that yeah, and, you know, and the agents get it from their MLS for free and then they get leads for free. Maybe just yeah. explain that a little bit. And Gail may be able to weigh in some on this as well too, but but ultimately, if again, if the if the client is using the, the link that the agent gave, um, then any property that they find uh, on the app, the lead or the inquiry goes back to the agent that sent them the app, the, the invitation. If they're using a non-branded version, um, and Gail, correct me if I'm wrong on this, any inquiry they make on a listing, the lead goes directly to the listing agent. Either yeah, way, correct. there there is no cost to the lead. Correct. Gotcha. Okay, so hopefully that answers the question that somebody just asked us because it's the the MLS is paying a fee to provide that access yeah. to brokers and agents, and then if brokers want the branded version, there's a slight um, upsell to upcharge for that, not not significant from what I understand, and then you're able to make it uh, all yours as well, and not have to have your own yeah. mobile app, which. I think many brokers appreciate the idea that they don't have to maintain that because it's a, it's not an easy game to play for sure. Yeah. All right, thank you. So I guess one just maybe one quick question for you, and then I'll turn it to Gail. Um, what advice would you give to other brokers that maybe were in your position? You know, were trying to have their own online marketing presence and felt like they weren't winning that battle, and you know, went took this as a turn. What what would you say to those guys and gals? Yeah. It, it we're all looking for an edge, um, safe to say. Um, and wherever we can, we're trying to do something that's unique to the marketplace um, and that in introducing a tool that no one else has. And, and we still strive to do that. Um, but at the same time, as we're introducing those tools or evaluating tools, they have to be useful. They have to be something that people will embrace, not only your own agents and staff, but consumers as well. So I'll go back to our story with our mobile app. We had a really great mobile app. and In fact, that app still exists. We don't use it because it's not as good as HomeSnap. So we traded exclusivity for functionality. Um, and, and I do gotcha. that every day. Uh, an exclusive tool that nobody uses is way too exclusive. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. All right. Well, thank you so much, David. Really appreciate your your passion for this, and uh, hopefully the brokers and agents on the call uh, start to understand how how meaningful this can really be in in your you know overall tech strategy for your brokerage. So I'm going to turn it back over to Gail, and I think she's she's got a couple more slides, and she's going to show us some of the this cool stuff live. So Gail, take it away. 
Um, okay, I think I'm actually just gonna just hop right into the demo. Okay. Yep. Um, so let me bring this over here. All right. Is my phone showing up on everyone's screen, I hope? Yes, it looks great. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, great. So I have HomeSnap on my phone right now. Uh, I'm going to give you a little uh, highlight of some of our best and most cool features. I know we've got about maybe 10 to 15 minutes for me to do a demo, so I'm not going to do an exhaustive you know, list of everything that you can do in HomeSnap. I'm just going to hit on some of the really cool things and some new stuff that we've added. Uh, I mentioned earlier that HomeSnap and HomeSnap Pro are built on the same app. If you are an agent, you would go to the App Store and download HomeSnap. It's not a different app. The only difference is if you're an agent, there's going to be certain features and certain categories of information that only you can see. Um, and as we go through, I'll point those out to you. But one way you'll know is if you ever see a feature that says Pro or it has a yellow box around it, you will know that you're looking at a pro feature that's just for agents. And I'm, when I, the demo I'm gonna do today is an agent-focused demo, and it's about HomeSnap Pro. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull up a home here. So here's a listing uh, here in the DC area, and I'm gonna just go through this listing and show some of the cool features as we go through it. So here's the listing here, and a couple of nice things. You can see already at the top, we have a few different options in terms of different media that we can look at to see the home. So if I tap on photos right here, for example, you can see here are all of the listing photos. These are coming directly from our MLS feed. So the listing photos are right there. Uh, you can also see a street view of this house. I can kind of toggle back around so I can see what it looks like on the street. And I could also switch to the map view and take a look at this home uh, via map view. So, with any uh, map in HomeSnap, you can all, always toggle back and forth between a map view and a satellite view. And here you can see that the, um, the property lines show up here on the map view as well as on the satellite view. But let's start scrolling through here and see what we can find. So the first thing we hit here is um, a couple of pro features. So these are just for agents. So you can send a CMA from the phone. And um, David, I was going to say, you did such a good job with your <laughs> list of features for HomeSnap. I think maybe you should be doing this demo, but I, I really <laughs> well, but, I, but I left out the schedule showing time. So that's an important one too. You make a good team then. But um, I appreciate that you mentioned the CMA. The CMA is something that you can do right from the phone. Um, it isn't meant to replace a more formal CMA with um, you know more, a little bit more features and a little bit more customization that you could do back at the desktop. But <clears throat> if you're trying to generate a CMA quickly, for a business development opportunity or for whatever reason you wanna do it very fast, you can do it right here from the phone and it takes about 10 seconds. Um, we are also integrated with a number of other real estate uh, technology vendors and um, some of them are showing services. So you can schedule with showing time, with CSS right here from within HomeSnap. It's all part of our goal to not require agents to leave HomeSnap in order to do their essential uh, tasks and one of them of course is scheduling showing so here you can do that right within HomeSnap. schedule your showing with showing time and not even have to leave HomeSnap. Um, i mentioned earlier that HomeSnap is an ad free platform we are showing a little ad right here and this is just for our own ads so that's why you see this here but we don't allow any third-party advertising within HomeSnap. Here's the property history. So we can see all of the transactions. In this case, this house doesn't have a complicated property history. It may be that the last time it sold was before uh, we, we, we don't have data from that from the MLS because MLSs have varying degrees of how far they go back in terms of supplying us with transactions. But in this case, we have, uh, you can see coming soon and for sale. And if this house had been sold before and you could see it there, you would be able to tap on that link and you could see the historical listing so that you could see um, what the house looked like the last time it was sold, the photos, you could look at all the details of that transaction. Here we've hit the related agents section. And again, this is a pro feature. You can tell that by the little pro box up in the corner. We have the listing agent here. Uh, a couple of different things you can do here. If you're an agent, you can send a message to the listing agent right here within HomeSnap, and that is within HomeSnap messaging. You don't have to close out of HomeSnap and open up your text message platform. You don't have to 
click on an icon that takes you out of HomeSnap, it all happens right here within HomeSnap. So I could send her a message if I would like and let her know that uh, I was interested in showing the house or if I had a question about it. Um, I can also get information about this agent. So I could find out how many transactions she's done. Um, David mentioned the How Am I Connected feature. I could see whether I've done the transaction with her in the past. It's like a little mini LinkedIn just for the MLS. That's what that How Am I Connected box is. Um, here's this agent's deal flow. I can see how many transactions she's done over the last two years. And I can also see where she's worked. So I can see here, a lot of her transactions are concentrated in the same neighborhood. Um, but that can be some useful information. Maybe you wanna know whether the person on the other side of the transaction from you is a neighborhood expert. You know, How much experience do they have? And of course, you can find out more information about them by clicking on how am I connected and seeing who might be able to give you information about working with them. Here are her recent listing sides. Here are her recent buyer sides. And you can crunch some numbers here too if you wanted to see you know, what are her pricing tendencies are like. HomeSnap will crunch those numbers for you here within this HomeSnap uh, agent profile. All right, let's go back to the listing. We're gonna keep going. A little shout out here to our MLS, Bright. Um, now we're at the public listing summary for HomeSnap. And you can see here that this home has some open houses scheduled for this weekend. And now we're at the confidential data. So agent only right here, we've got the pro features here. We've got uh, commission splits. We've got uh, information about showing the home, you know, anything that one agent wants to communicate to another one. We've also got confidential documents here. So if you wanted to access disclosures or any other documents that the agent has put into the MLS, those will also appear here in HomeSnap making it so that you don't then have to go into your MLS system just to access those documents. Um, these are some of the listing media that I showed you at the top of the listing before. Um, we've got stories and I'm gonna uh, wait and table stories. It's a really cool feature and I'm gonna show you a little video about stories in a minute. Uh, the photos here, the street view and the map, that's all here under listing media, listing details. Schools is a really cool feature here at um, HomeSnap. So, it's very common here in the DC area for people to buy homes based on public schools. They want to pick homes in school attendance zones that they know they'll be able to send their kids to. And so they limit their searches to those attendance zones. So for example, let's say you said, I want to send my kid, for example, to the Lafayette Elementary School. If you tap on the Lafayette Elementary School right there, you're going to be able to look at the school attendance zone and you can look at all of the homes that are for sale in that attendance zone. So you can see green means for sale, purple means there's an open house scheduled, that blue pin with the mortarboard you see is the home, so you can see how far the home is from there. And then you know, as an agent and as a consumer, that these are all the homes currently for sale in the area that you want to live. Commute time, this is a really cool feature. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave commute time for a minute until we get to search because one of the great things you can do with HomeSnap is you can search for homes that are within a certain uh, duration commute for all of the people in the household, not just one. So I'll come back to that one. Property lines, and then we've got comps, and then we get to the bottom of the listing. So that is a listing in a nutshell. You'll also see at the bottom, you've got that little bar there that allows you to do all kinds of things with this listing right from here. I could send it in a message to my agent or my spouse or a friend. I can favorite it, which is what I've done here. You can see that blue star, or I could share it. If I tap on that share button, I can share it any number of ways. Um, so let me show you a couple of other things. Um, the news feed, this is my favorite feature in HomeSnap. The news feed is a constantly updated real-time uh, thread of transaction changes that are relevant to my market, the ones that I care about. So I've told HomeSnap that there are a couple of zip codes that I wanna follow, and it's gonna tell me every time there is some sort of a status change in those zip codes. And it's gonna tell me why it included it here. So for example, new home for sale in 2008, a uh, new home for sale in 20815, a uh, home sold in 2008. And what I can also do here, and I'm not an agent, so I don't have a whole list of clients, but if my clients were doing things in HomeSnap, like favoriting homes and sharing homes and things like that, that's also gonna pop up in my newsfeed. So it's a nice way for me to keep tabs on what my clients are doing. 
and also keep track of what's going on in my market in a very user-friendly way. And we're all kind of used to now um, absorbing information, this scroll method. We do it on our social media platforms and we do it in our email and our text. So this is just another way that we deliver information in a very consumer-friendly and a very user-friendly way to agents so that they can stay absolutely on top of everything going on in their market. So that's the news feed right there. I've talked a lot about messaging. This is an example of what our messages tab looks like. And if I'm sharing homes back and forth, this is a colleague of mine here at HomeSnap. If I'm sharing homes back and forth with him, this is how it appears. You get a nice thumbnail of the house. If you tap on that thumbnail, it's gonna take you right to that listing. If you go back, it's gonna take you right back into the message. What's nice about this is it really allows you to stay organized. So I could see, let's hear all the homes that I've shared back and forth between this particular individual. So let's say this were a client or another agent. I could say, well, let's look at all the homes that we've talked about back and forth and think about, you know, which ones do we want to go look at or let's evaluate which ones you might be interested in pursuing. Or maybe I have a listing. I can see all of the homes or all of the messages that I have sent and received about that listing. So it's a nice, easy snapshot of all of the communications you've had with all kinds of parties about the home. I don't have to go into my text message platform. I don't have to keep it muddled in with my email. It's all contained right here. Now, if you send a HomeSnap message to someone who's not using HomeSnap, that's fine. They'll get it as a text message and it will return to you in HomeSnap. Now I'm gonna go into home search. So here is uh, a search in a close to the area where I am right now. And you can see we have clusters of homes clusters of listings just to make things a little less complicated. But as I sort of uh, focus in, uh, these homes are gonna pop up. So let's do a few things. Let's try search by commute. So I wanna know the homes that are within a 15 minute commute time of this location, which happens to be my office. If I tap on search, HomeSnap is gonna show me all of the neighborhoods that I could look at and all of the homes that are currently on the market that satisfy my commute. I could also add my spouse's commute. I could add my kid's daycare location. I could add my gym. I could add the dog park I like to go to. Whatever is important to me in my life, I can tell HomeSnap that I don't wanna live more than 15 minutes away from that place. And it will show me all of the homes that satisfy that requirement for all of the important people in my house. And they don't even have to be contiguous locations. In this case, they happen to all be together, but sometimes HomeSnap will show you you know, in a neighborhood in one part of one side of the highway and a neighborhood on the other side. So maybe there's neighborhoods you hadn't even thought of that you can discover because HomeSnap will let you know that you don't live too far from them, that you would be able to get to work within a certain amount of time. I also like the draw feature here. Sorry, I'm gonna remove the commute. The draw feature here. So this allows me to um, tell HomeSnap where I wanna live uh, on my own. So I can say, all right, I want to live only within this particular area right here. And there we go. There's my custom search. And I can save that search and tell, you know, so that every day HomeSnap tells me all of the new listings that might appear within my custom map. I can also look near me. So this is where I am right now. And it's going to show me all the homes that are around my exact location. And I can add a bunch of layers to this. I could add property lots, could add schools, so I can see where all the schools are. So it's all very customizable. And of course I can also just search by, you know, various criteria of homes. I can look for size, look for price, look for status. Maybe I only wanna look at homes that have an open house this weekend, I can do that here. And I can also look for rentals. So we've got all of that information here in HomeSnap. So let's see how we're doing on time. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to actually um, stop the demo right now. And I would like to just quickly show you a video about a really cool new feature. Um, one of the things you saw when we were looking at a listing here, if you go into this listing here, for example, that option in the top left to add a story. What that means is that as an agent, I can create a story. And a story is kind of like an Instagram story or Facebook story, which you've seen on your social media platforms or your kids' social media platforms. And the story allows me to take a video and make a custom video about a home. I can talk, I can add music, I can do all kinds of fun things to it. And then I can make that story part of the listing. 
So if you're a listing agent for a home, you can add a very cool customizable piece of media and marketing that allows you to really show the personality of the home. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to exit out of this demo and go to... Actually, Gail, there were a couple of questions from the, if you want to, um, maybe, maybe you could show people. One of them was, how do you invite um, your clients? Because I know it's, okay. it's like a one button thing. Can you, can you show them that real quick? How you do that? The demo, why don't I go ahead and do that? Okay. So inviting clients is very easy. So I just tapped on that bottom right tab called the Me tab. And I'm going to tap now on this Invite button. And the way that you can invite clients to connect with you in HomeSnap, you have a lot of different options. You can go through your phone uh, contact list. You could even invite everyone in your phone contact list. Now, to some people, that sounds great. And to some people, that sounds like a huge nightmare. So we don't make it easy to do that. You have to confirm a couple of times if that's what you want to do. We don't want you to make, do it by mistake. But if you do, you can, you can invite everybody. You can also take your profile link. Every agent user of HomeSnap gets a vanity URL. Uh, you could take that profile link right there. Um, you can post it on Facebook. Mm. You can read it out. You can also include it uh, when in your business card, in your marketing materials, in your email signature block, wherever you want, you can include that. And if somebody clicks on your link, any of these methods, then they will become your HomeSnap client. And that means that they will see you whenever they are in HomeSnap. Uh, they will, if they have questions about homes, it's all going to come to you. If they, you know, want to learn more, you're going to get all of that traffic and all of those questions. Um, you can also just tap in an email address or a phone number up here at the top. So there's a lot of different ways that you can invite clients. And so you could take that profile link if you, like, say you have a, a database, um, as someone asked earlier about like a buyer database or a seller database. You could take that link, send out an email blast to everybody on that list and give them an easy way to download the app from there. Absolutely. Okay, gotcha. Great. Um, one other question we got too, which isn't a demo question, um, but uh, people wanted to know how much is it if I wanted to do broker branding? And it, it, is there any difference in price based on the size of my brokerage? Well, broker branding is now uh, free if your MLS joins the BPP. So if you are in uh, an MLS that's part of the BPP, you get broker branding for free. If you are in an MLS that we work with that is not part of the BPP, then um, the price does vary based on the number of agents in the brokerage and the size of the brokerage. So I can't really give you a price quote because it's all gonna be dependent on how big the broker is. Gotcha, okay. Um, but the, but you'll, you'll share contact information at the end if someone wants to find that out. Or is there a place online that they can go look for that where it uh, shows the, the numbers? Yeah, I think that we do have a, a, broker, a, tab a tab. broker tab. So if you go to homesnap.com and then you click on the broker tab, there will be information mm -hmm. about the branding there too. Gotcha. Okay. Um, there was a question about when will HomeSnap have school district search? They are in the, the person asking is in the bright MLS footprint. Yeah, that's now. I mean, I just, that's what I was just showing. Okay, so that is, that is the bright. So whoever, anybody that's in that market, that's what we just saw live. Awesome. Yeah, we have it in every month. So yeah, I'm just going back down to that right now. So I'm going to tap on schools here. So for this home that we're looking at right now, Somerset Elementary School, I can now tap right here and see all of the homes within that school district that are for sale. Oh, neat. Okay, that's great. <laughs> You too is you could go to the search, um, the search, I'll just go to that right now, and you could type a school district in right up here too. Oh, okay, gotcha. So if I say I just want a home in a particular, and is it the district or is it the particular school or both? It's the school. It's the school. So gotcha. we, we, um, we have a third party provider and we call them school attendance zones because, you know, from market to market, school districts is a complicated thing. In some markets, mm -hmm. School districts are not um, geographic. Like sometimes they're lottery boat based, or sometimes mm -hmm. you know you could live. You could have people living next door to each other where they, they their kids could be going to different schools. So we're careful about the terminology, um, and mm -hmm. we're only showing the geographic based school attendance zone information. Gotcha. Um, we've had a couple of questions too about how do I find out if my MLS offers um, 
BPP with HomeSnap? Well, I mean, one very easy way is to just do a search in your MLS on homesnap.com and see if you're seeing listings or not. Um, if you're not seeing okay. any listings, you're just seeing a lot of public records data, that means we do not have data for your market yet. And that means that your MLS is not a part of HomeSnap. Um, as to whether the market is part of BPP versus um, a legacy market that we were working with before we launched BPP, um, there's no very easy way to tell. You would have to either reach out to me or reach out to the MLS and we'll know. Okay, gotcha. And if um, for those that, if you, f you figure out that your market does not have it, um, you, you, know, you definitely reach out to your uh, the leadership of your MLS boards and you know tell them that you think this is something neat they should take a look at because if you, if you agree with that, it sounds like some of you do. We've gotten lots of good feedback from um, people that are watching the demo, so that's mm -hmm. great. Do we have time yeah. for a quick video yes let's do it okay. got five minutes anybody else have any questions feel free to look, add them to the box as well all right so i'm going to just talk a little bit about these home snap stories which is a really cool um feature i hope i notice that my moving a little slowly here so um, as I mentioned before, HomeSnap allows agency ability to record stories, which are these cool customized videos that go along with a listing. Um, we know that consumers love video. I mean, we're living in a video age for sure. People respond really well to video content. And yet there's a lot of agents who aren't using video. Um, either they find it intimidating or they don't know how to get started or they feel like they've got to hire fancy professional equipment or people to help them. And, and we're here to let them know that it's really, really easy to create engaging videos. So I'm going to show this video right here. Let's hope that this So that's just a little overview of how you can create a listing story. And one of the things that was neat that I didn't mention was that you get to see how many people have watched your video and you can see who they are. So that's a really cool feature. Mm -hmm. That is really neat. Um, I'm now I'm just gonna show you a, an example of a really good video. So here's some, some best practices for creating stories. Um, you know, you want to include multiple stories in a property so you could do, you know, a few different ones if you want. Um, get the viewer involved, let them see what you're seeing, get them, you know, to sort of experience what it's like to be inside the house. And while you're at it, showcase your experience. So talk about types of homes that you work with, talk about what you know about the market, about the neighborhood, and some of your expertise as an agent. I oh, had a question, Gail. How long, how long can the videos be? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yep. Okay, but, which is appropriate for social media. Anything longer than that, yeah. people start to click click away from it. So, okay, gotcha. Yeah. And so, you know, if you feel like you can't get everything you want to do in 30 seconds, you can create more than one. So in the, what I was saying before with the best practices that you can create multiple videos for the same property. And here are some mm -hmm. different scenarios that you can create a video around. Maybe you have an open house coming up or you've got a price reduction on a home and you want to get some attention on it. Um, you can use it to show really cool features in a house. You can go outside, you can walk around the neighborhood, and you can also talk about, you know, here are potential places where you could upgrade this home. Like, hey, you could, you know, add, add a room here or think about expanding this or pull this out and convert it to something else. So I'm going to just show you an a, a organic video here that has been created by us. Come home to this 100-year-old farmhouse. I'm having an open house this weekend with hot chocolate on a 100-year-old stone terrace, dog not included. Located right here on Person and Tree Road. So, a couple more questions. Of, oh, that will go when you finish with that.
Okay. I'll turn this off because you said you have some questions. Uh, so are there a couple questions. Uh, can you have a link in the video? And can I, could I use it to push them to a 3D tour if I wanted to show them more about the house? Well, 3D tours, if they are in the MLS feed, we will feature them in HomeSnap. So if okay. that's there, we, that will be right next to it. And the reason you didn't see it in the listing that I showed you before in the demo was they didn't have an associated 3D tour with it. So you can't include a link and you can't include a 3D tour, but the 3D tour will be right there next to it in the listing. Okay, gotcha. So you really don't even need to. That's even better. Uh, then we had another question. Can I upload a specific client list as a CSV file? I have over 3,000 potential clients. Um, we don't have that capability in HomeSnap right now, no. But, that, but they could take the link that you provided them and use their other, if they have a CRM tool or email blast system or something, right? They could, they could take that same list and just invite them a different way? Yep, and if, it's, if that list is uh, living within the MLS software, then that is one of the integrations that we are going to be rolling out with the MLS software, which is syncing contacts between the two. Oh, great. Okay, so that will be coming then. That's awesome. Yeah, for anybody, if there's anybody on the call that's in the Chicago market, the Dyna Connections integration is um, live and really neat. I saw it the other day, so check that one out. If you, When you're setting up a listing at a, or if you're setting up an auto prospecting um, in Dyna Connections, it will ask you if you want to use and connect to HomeSnap, so definitely say yes, because you'll get all these really cool features if you do it that way. Okay, um, any other questions? I think, we think we've come to the top of the hour, and uh, I'll, I'll give everybody just one more second if you have anything else you want to ask, uh, but why don't we go back and why don't we put Eugene's contact information on the screen, Gail, so in case people have more questions, they can reach out to him. Yep. <clears throat> Yep, so if you have questions, please reach out to Eugene Gligor, who works on the business development team here at HomeSnap. And um, we would love to talk to you about HomeSnap. We'd love to talk to you about your market. And we can let you know if we're already in your market and what whether we're in, your market's in the BPP or not in the BPP. And uh, if not, we would love to you know, reach out and talk to your MLS and do a demo and let them know all of the great benefits of being part of it. Yeah, there, there was uh, three people on the call that had uh, uh, lots of amazing questions. Um, you know, feel free to reach out to Eugene and he can, he can answer anything in depth that you'd like to. Yes, um, make sure that you've got you're fully armed one of them the gentleman was a trainer I think for a large brokerage so make sure that you've got everything you need to help people take full advantage of this because it's a pretty neat product Thanks. okay with that I think we're we've hit the top of the hour I, I thank Gail thank you David so much for your contribution it was really helpful and uh, again if anybody else has any further questions feel free to reach out to Eugene at eGligor at homesnap.com and I'm sure he can answer them for you everybody have a great uh, weekend and a great holiday Thanks, Thank, you so much. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, David. Thank you. Okay. Bye.